yeah, it's um, I'm going to talk talk for a few minutes about on the subject of death, uh, death, uh, death, uh, death, exterminate, exterminate. Now that's yeah, um, it's a rude old bugger, death, isn't it? You know, there you are. Going along, everything going all a bit, you know, maybe it's all going all right for you, I don't know. And then, uh, it's a bit like Mr. Ben, isn't it? You know, when a shopkeeper appeared in Mr. Ben, and that was a bit rude, wasn't it? You know, oh, it's, you know, it's nice, isn't it? You, just when you thought, oh, this is interesting, you know, let's just do some... Mr. Ben, yeah, and there comes the old guy with the fe the fez on his, you know, and a moustache. Yeah, just a little, little hit of moustache. And he says, oh, yes, sir, would you just like to step through here? And, boof, clocks you. Yeah, buddy, clocks you over the back of the head with a hammer or something. Or, in the gangster version, bullet right in the back of the neck, back of the... You know, base of the brain, straight in there, bosh. And that's your lot, you see. But, um, well, you know, I mean, um, I often think about this, and um, you got, I was thinking about this, actually, you know, what about old, um, what about Humpty Dumpty, eh? You know. I mean, it's Mr. Ben. Would it was all quite moralistic, wasn't it? There was always a little moral in the story, you know. You know, when you think about Humpty Dumpty, I mean, basically the moralist, the moral of the story is, um, you know, don't fuck about on the wall. Um, you know, you think you're a bit of a clever guy, a bit of an egghead, and then. But don't fuck about on the wall because, uh, you know, you, you're basically going to shatter into a thousand pieces, aren't you? You know, all that yoke everywhere. And, and who were all those king's horses and all those king's men? I mean, you know, doctors are quite clever, but they can't, you know, there's not a lot they can do about that one, is there? Um, anyway, so I would say... I would say that, uh, you know, it, it, death is one of those things, sometimes quite unannounced, you know, quite unannounced. Um, I don't think, I don't think Elvis, you know, Elvis was ready for it, was he? Um, you know, he thought, hello, empty my bowels. Gets gets in the toilet. I mean, he obviously was feeling a bit rough, and he thought, "Hello, we got some, we got a bit of brown coming through here. Blow through, go you, out you come, yodeling out of the brown passage, brown crevice, um, a crevasse, you know." And um, no, actually, no, it was um, worse than that, wasn't it? He was dead, Jim. Oh dear, love me tender. Are you lonesome tonight? Are you sad that we drifted apart? Did your ass cheeks just say that we would be? Yeah, I don't even. It's not easy, is it, trying to make things up on the spur of the moment? Yeah, there were other, you know. I mean, there is a bit, there is, there is a dark side and there is a, you know, it's not all, well, what am I trying to say? I mean, look, we had, a, we had comedians, didn't we, that, uh, well, look at what happened to um, Tommy Cooper. I mean, he was actually on stage and on film as well. And um, they, everybody was watching and, and thought it was all part of the act. Um, and he, he literally gr grabbed his chest and, and, and crumpled on the stage. And um, he didn't exit stage left. 
he exited centre stage, didn't he? That's it. Um, Eric Morecambe, the late great Eric Morecambe, uh, he wasn't. I don't think you know. He wasn't actually on the stage, but he just he just about got off, hadn't he? And uh, down he went. Um, down the Stony Road. <laughs> Uh, to the far country from which there is no return. It's something like that. It's what Shakespeare said, actually. Uh, you know, he knew a thing about death and to be or not to be, and that is the question. And um, Do, 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 do. Nah. Uh, there's loads of things to talk about death. Um, I can't think of any of them, you know. You know, you get on the TV, you can't, it's crawling with those bloody, you know, Bloody insurance things and, and and all that, you know, life life insurance policy thing. What's it, life insurance or, you know, bloody, bloody Michael Parkinson flogging that Sun Life, you know. And when you die, um, you know, you you you'll receive, you know, you, not you, you won't get a bloody lump sum, will you? I mean, shit, man, you're bloody dead, and you paid in all this money. I hope you get your money's worth, you know, I mean, but, um, I don't know, um, uh, um, and it's still playing on that thing of that sort of sense of guilt, isn't it, that you've died and left somebody with this bloody great bill, you know, to sort out your, your funeral and, uh, a lot of people don't give a fuck, do they? It's, it's fuck them, you know, fuck them. They can pay for my bloody funeral. And what they don't realise is that they're going to go for one of these bargain basement bloody jobs, you know. Bloody bargain basement. And, you know, right old bloody... Oh, Biff. But what do you want? I mean, you're not there, are you? You know, you might be watching, as it were, watching sort of cringing like oh god there's old there's old there's old susan spange glove susan what's she doing down there there's old Sp susan spange glove you know in that silly dress there oh dearie me i wish she hadn't come to my funeral you know a couple of eulogies that sort of thing yeah that's it him out i think the cat wants to go out no, he doesn't want to go out. Right, so anyway, i got to think of a few more little bits and pieces about death. Um, but you've had worse, trust me, you've had worse. Um, it's not as bad as you think. Um, okay, I'll speak to you a little bit later. All right, have a good day, won't you? You do that, sir, yes, sir.